So <clears throat> I'm running my drill press here, trying to cut holes in these uh, beehive lids, with this big hole saw, and it keeps stalling out on me, stalling, stalling, stalling. I thought, man, it just it didn't used to do this, and I couldn't, you know, understand why if the motor was going bad or what. This is a Porter cable uh, PCB eight six sixty DP. Anyway, um, we've had this drill press for several years. So anyway, this is kind of a new issue, but I'll show you what it was doing here. So just going in, I mean, me just barely, whoop, just barely any bite at all with the salt. And so finally I opened up the lid and look what we got going on. Whoop. So all it is is this, this second drive belt is just wore out. So I'm trying to figure out how to fix it. It looks like there's definitely a tension mechanism here because I can grab this pulley and you can see that tensioner moves. So I'm trying to go through and, and figure out on the underside. I don't have the manual with me, but it looks like there's a hole to get up in there. This little, this little black plastic cap was in it, but there's a hole to get up inside of there. I just gotta try to look up in there and figure out how to get a wrench or whatever I need to up in there to, to tighten something. Something here is off. And like I said, I just don't know because I don't have the manual. I don't know what is the tensioning mechanism. So let me tinker with it and I'll let you know. Look at this. So I was sitting there looking at the belts and I was sitting there wiggling this thing back and forth. And I was like, man, no matter what you do, it, if I go one way, it makes the other belt loose. If I go this way, it makes this belt loose. And then I was studying this little chart, this little speed chart, and it gives you all these different options on uh, how you can change your speed around if you want to, you know, it's, it's your different belt arrangements to change your speed. But so that got me thinking, man, this thing is designed to have you change the belts really quick and fast, so it must be really easy. And finally, I noticed that around the motor here, this hole is extra big. So we got to looking at the motor. The motor is just on slides right here. You see these little shiny slides in there. So this is a set screw here, and this is a set screw. And these probably just have worked their way loose. And then what you have is just this handle. And you can sit here and you, if you pull it to you, that's about as far in as I can pull it. But that's enough that these belts are workable and you can slip them off. The belt is the same size, it appears. So you just, because basically you've got a bigger pulley here, smaller pulley here, so you use the same belt on the different pulley arrangements. Um, it's just a matter of how it's geared. But then to tighten it, you just push the handle away. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it permanently without the camera on so I can use both hands. But I'm gonna crank that sucker back and then just tighten down those set screws. So I'm actually gonna see now about adjusting the, the belt arrangement because it looks like right now it's on, looks like it's on the super slow 300 RPM. And these hole saws are really meant to, to bore a lot faster. So I'm gonna change it up just for fun and see if I don't put it on something a little different. Let's just see how it performs because it's really frustrating me how slow it's been. <laughs> so we've reset our belts now. We are on the 700 RPM, which is interesting. It gives you this chart and it says if you're drilling through wood, that you should be on the 3100 or no less than the 900, 990 sort of setting depending on what your hole size is. Now this is, I'm not sure how that applies to what I'm doing because I'm using a three and five eighths hole saw. So I went ahead and left the speed a little lower so I have a little bit more torque um, versus just trying to really blow through it at really high speed. Um, I've got it clamped down because of course that's a scary thing with, now that the belts are holding, it might want to grab this thing and throw it, but let's just, you see it's spinning way faster which is awesome. Smoking hot. Cool. That's good. I like that. Definitely going a lot faster. So yeah, smarter every day, right? Something new. I never, I've never opened the top on this thing to look and even study it. I, I should have known that, you know, I knew it had a set of belts up here, but I didn't really ever understand why. I just figured, okay, I remember opening it once. I forgot there was this middle belt to adjust your speeds. I just thought there was a belt to go from the motor over to the top head and that was it. 
I've always just kind of worked with it the way it was. Never even thought about adjusting it. But man, that was a huge difference. And I'm happy I figured out how to tension these belts. So they're much, much tighter. They didn't slip at all. So yeah, now I'm gonna pick up and finish drilling these lids. But anyway, just thought I'd share that with you guys. A little troubleshooting. Figured out the loose belt issue and also figured out how to adjust my speeds.